Hello everyone, this is The Train Club here, coming to you a month after my previous Q&A announcement, which closed yesterday. So, I'm not going to dilly-dally around and drop this video a month later, I'm actually going to do the Q&A now, or at least at the time of recording this, hopefully it comes out today, but you never know. Anyway, around a month ago, as I just mentioned, I announced a Q&A for the first time in quite a long time to get the opportunity for you guys to ask me some questions about me, my channel, my videos, pretty much anything. And now I'm going to answer them all in this video. Let me just say I was pleasantly surprised with the amount of comments I got. I really appreciate you guys being very interactive with my channel and my videos, and I hope I can get to every question in this one. Alright, so without further ado, I'm going to answer these comments by the first ones to show up on the page, so let's get started. Alright, this question comes from the Cool Train Dude, and he asks, Number one, what's your favorite Trackmaster engine? I'm not really critique on how the toys look based on the engine they're being based off of, I kind of just look at them all as toys. But if I had to pick a favorite model, it would probably be Toby, just because of how sentimental he is to me. I've had him for practically as long as I can remember, so I guess he's my favorite Trackmaster engine. What's your favorite and least favorite episode? It has been a hot minute since I've watched anything Thomas related besides the first one to five seasons, but my favorite episode is definitely Oliver's Fine. And my least favorite episode, I can't really say an exact one, but it would probably be something from the Miller or Bwaba era. Alright, this next question comes from Angelo Bate 601 and he asks, If all the engines on Sodor had swords, how would you feel? Well, I'm not really sure. I don't think Thomas would really be a kid's IP anymore if the engines all had swords, but honestly, uh, that would be pretty interesting. Who's your favorite Nintendo character? I gotta be honest, I don't have a very long history with Nintendo. I never really grew up playing any of the games, but I guess if I was to just pick a character I liked, I would say, I guess, I don't know, Bowser's cool. This question comes from Train Forever 101 and he asks, if you could name an engine or pick a name for an engine to work on Sodor, um, you know, this is pretty basic, but I guess I would say Noah, because there was never a character named Noah, or as of now, I keep forgetting the show's still going. But yeah, I've never had a character with my name, so I guess that's what I'd name it. Who is your least favorite character out of Billy or Charlie? I gotta be honest, uh, none of them were really in the show for too long. I, they kind of seem like the same character to me, but I guess I would say Billy is my least favorite out of the two. Charlie just seems like a little more fun, and I like his color more than Billy's. Speaking of, opinion as Billy as purple and Charlie as orange. Um, again, I think at that point, that would pretty much just be the exact same characters, just with the colors swapped. Alright, this question comes from F-T-O-E Hextras, sorry if I pronounced that wrong, and he asks, ever heard of Mae Whitman? I have not. Again, I hope I pronounced that right. Have you made Mr. Swan's origin story or not? Well, there's a pretty big history behind uh, Mr. Swan's origin, in real life anyway. And it's pretty much exactly what I said in the second Scruff's Quest movie. We, we were on vacation at Disney, me and my family, and we stayed in this hotel that was called the Swan Hotel, and that gave me an idea for a character in the movie. As for his history, actually canonically, in the videos, I'm not sure if I've ever publicly stated this or not, but I currently share a universe with two other people, uh, Little Western 09 and Train Studios, that currently make content uh, kind of the same style as mine, and we like to think that all of our vids take place in the same universe, so go check out that playlist on Little Western's channel called The Toy Timeline to see everything, because... There's a lot of different connections between Mr. Swan, I think everyone has used them in their videos, and there's a 
pretty long history that's explained throughout the videos in there. How do you get into Thomas and Friends? Um, well, mainly it was a very big hand-me-down thing in my house. Like, uh, my older cousin was into it for a while, and then he gave his stuff to my older sister, and then my sister passed down her stuff to me, which is how I started getting into it. This question comes from Max and Freddy Studios, an old friend of mine, and here are his questions. Number one, favorite movie you have made so far? I think out of all the movies I've made, my favorite is definitely the Derek movie. I do really like the Toad movie, but I don't think it quite tops it. Favorite episode of Thomas, that's Oliver's Fine. Is the reboot really as bad as everyone thinks it is? Um, I've only seen about three or four episodes of the reboot, but I really can't say anything about it. I mean, it's, it's a show for toddlers. I'm not really the target audience. Uh, if, it, if it keeps the Thomas name going, I mean, good for it, I guess. Good for Mattel, but in terms of bad, I mean, I, I can't really give a proper opinion. It's just a basic kid show. Is the Ivan series dead? Uh, I believe this is referring to an old series I used to have that I planned out but never made in fruition. Uh, yeah, that series is unfortunately dead. Alright, these questions come from ThomasFan1093, and he asks, Number one, favorite song? My favorite song currently is probably For the First Time by Kenny Loggins. I used the song in the end credits of the Toad movie. Although, as of recording this video, I'm very invested in the Everyone Knows That case. Um, I'm not sure if anyone watching this is going to have heard of that, but basically there's an unknown song that the internet is trying to identify right now. It's a very big mystery, and I think that song is pretty good, although we only have 20 seconds of it. Favorite movie? Um... I gotta say, my favorite movie is probably the Grown Ups movies as of now. Those have made me laugh, like, every single time I watch them. Let me just say, they hit different as a grown-up. Alright, favorite food. Uh, as of now, pretty much my whole life, my favorite food has been pizza. Alright, these questions come from my friend Timeless Engines, and he asks, Thoughts on wet cardboard? You know, there are multiple uses for it, if you look at it in the right way, but in general, I think it's just okay. How do you make a parmesan crusted peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Well first I would say you'd start with the bread, then apply the jelly, sprinkle some parmesan on, and then toast it to a perfection. That's just how I do it though, there are probably other methods. Favorite tree in your yard? I'd say the 37th one brings me a lot of comfort, so I'd have to go with that one. Do you know about the time bomb under your house? Um, wait, hang on, there's- Alright, these questions come from Drevery and Edwards Productions, 9244, and he asks, Number one, what is your favorite Thomas Wooden Railway 2022 model? I've given this a lot of thought, I've looked at them for a while, as long as I've had them, and I'd say the best one is probably Gordon, in my opinion. Number two, what is your favorite episode from the Big World Big Adventures era? Alright, I had to get the episode roster up to answer this question. But I'd say my favorite episode is probably the bulgy one from season 23, I believe. The one where he accidentally causes a break in the water tower. What is your favorite Thomas character? Um, for a while now, it's, it's been a tie between James, Percy, and Toby. What is your favorite Trackmaster motorized model? I believe I mentioned this earlier, but as of now, I'd say it's Toby. This question comes from Josh Production 7 and he asks, If you own Thomas, what would you do? Um, this is a really good question actually. I would say that if I personally own Thomas, which again is impossible, I don't think a single person could own an entire IP on their own, but if I had f I understand what you're saying, if I had full control over what to do with Thomas, I would honestly say to put a close on everything that's out right now and just almost either start from scratch or continue Thomas as a lesser known thing, more of a simply a toy line than a TV show. 
But really, I think the main problem with Thomas right now is its distribution. It's very hard to watch the current show. The toys are not available publicly anywhere, so I'm pretty sure that would be the first thing I'd change. Alright, these questions come from my friend LittleWestern09, and he asks, If you had to be in an interconnected universe with three other people making series and movies about talking toys, who would you pick? Uh, probably Rob Schneider and Danny DeVito. How would you rank all of your projects, like your movies and your series? I think my favorite project that I've made on this channel is definitely the Derek movie, then the Toad movie, and then I'm not really sure how to rank my series because I only have a couple. What are your favorite movies? Um, as I stated, I like the Grown Ups movies, love the Paul Blart movies, anything with Kevin James. Alright, these questions come from Chu Chaw McCall, and he asks, Favorite question you have gotten so far? Honestly, it's probably this one. Favorite school subject? Uh, I definitely think my strong suit is English. I enjoy working in English the most, so. Diecast Thomas Range is ranked. I don't think I could rank all of them, but my favorite of the diecast ranges is definitely Take Along. That's the range I have the most of, and I just think those are the best ones. They're the most compatible with each other, and uh, yeah. These questions come from Steelworks Ryan, and he asks, Number one, if your house was burning down and you could only save one engine, one coach, one truck, and one non-rail character, who would they be? Um... I think the first ones I would grab are Toby and Scruff, because those ones are the most sentimental to me, but it would be hard to pick. Uh, a lot of my engines have nostalgic and sentimental value, and obviously I would not want any of them to burn, besides Salty, who I, you know, literally burned. How many times did Marklin Engine break the fourth wall on your channel? If you want to go ahead and tally that up, you are more than welcome, but... That is probably way more times for me to count. How did Jack get out of jail after killing someone? Alright, so this refers to a gag in my series. In one of my shorts, uh, towards the end of the short, Jack got put in jail for making a joke about murder. And then I believe this refers to how in the most recent short, again at the time of this video, he's been released. Um... Something I don't know if I've ever stated on my channel, it pretty much just goes without saying, is that there's kind of a difference between gags and some things that are important to the story. Like in the murder mystery, the main point of the story is that the engines were murdered, and so that kind of carries over in the main continuity. As for a joke about at the end of a video, like a character blowing up just for a joke, like it just happens as a gag and then they come back. I would say the Jack thing was definitely a gag, it doesn't really affect the actual series. Does Stepney like Alpha and Omega? I'm, I'm not really sure how to answer this question. Can you sing a song about Tom Tipper? Um, songs are not my strong suit, but if I ever have 20 minutes free and can write a song about Tom Tipper, you'll be the first to know about it. Alright, next up, these questions are from Caleb the Tank Engine 06, and he asks, Favorite Tomy Playrail Trackmaster item you own? Again, gotta say Toby. Any non Thomas items you own? Uh, I'm not sure if you mean trains that are non Thomas, or just things in general, because, yeah, no, my, my whole house definitely is not Thomas. But, uh, favorite non Thomas shows slash movies? Um, honestly, I like too many shows to narrow it down, and I've already stated my favorite movies. And thanks for the congrats. These questions come from Duck slash QY2JS, and he asks, Number one, is Thomas and Friends your favorite show? Uh, my favorite show is currently The Middle from ABC. Who are some significant people in your life? Uh, obviously, my family, my friends, all of you. Number three, have you ever met a celebrity? I have met celebrities a few times, either by having a connection from someone else in my family, or just seeing them usually in a place like New York or Nashville. 
but it depends on what you count as a celebrity. What's your favorite video game? Honestly, I'm not a huge video game guy. I don't really play that many video games. I never did as a kid. But I guess right now I mainly just play Roblox. I play a lot of FNAF. But yeah. What's your best achievement? Um, that's a good question. I'd say I'd like to think my best achievement is overcoming all of my previous mental health issues and things along those lines, but yeah, I guess that's the thing I'm most proud of myself for. Alright, these next questions are a handful of questions and they come from Toby Oliver Henry fan. Number one, will Toad, Duck, Donald, Douglas, Hector, and Oliver appear in the main series? Um, I only have the series planned out so far ahead, and as of now, I can't really say if any of those characters make an appearance, um, but again, anything is open, I'm open to doing any video idea in the future, so I'm not gonna say they'll never return. What happened to Sir Handel, Peter, Sam, and Duncan? Do you have models of them? Um... There's actually a story behind all of those, I think. Sir Handel, I did have when I was a kid, but I left him at a restaurant. Peter Sam, I used to have, but he just became extremely broken over time, and I ended up just using him for parts. And I have been missing Duncan for as long as I can remember. I definitely have him somewhere in my house, but I've turned the place upside down multiple times when I was younger, and I've never found him. Haven't seen Whiff. Will Whiff appear? Uh, Whiff has previously appeared in the Scruffs Quest movies, but I'm not sure about any shorts. What about Arian Burt? Uh, Arian Burt appeared in the Derek movie, and I'm pretty sure they canonically died in that movie, so... Yeah, I think that's the end for them. Will Ryan and Salty show up again? Uh, Salty has been canonically killed off. As for Ryan... Again, I'm not going to say nothing couldn't happen in the future. Uh, you never know. Could you please shave? I've gotten this question like three other times, so maybe it will motivate me to shave. I don't know. When will Daisy be used? Uh, Daisy actually appears in the next short that I'm releasing at the time of making this video. Next up, do you know all the Coldyfell Railway engines? Uh, I know the three main ones, Coldy, Godred, and Lord Harry, or at least those are just the ones that are brought up most often. I'm pretty sure there's an Ernest as well, and Eric, I want to say, but I can't name all of them off the top of my head. Will the Fat Controller ever show his face on my series? Um... The series are obviously all done with toys, so I don't think the Fat Controller will ever make an appearance. How's the basement? Uh, I'm in it right now recording this video and it's pretty good. When will Toby's Square Hardware come back? Um, I don't recall it ever disappearing, but I it will appear in some future short pretty soon. Is this too many questions? Uh, no, I'm always happy to answer questions from people and this is a Q&A, so... I'm happy to answer your questions. Will Harvey appear? Uh, Harvey has appeared in shorts and movies in the past, but yeah, he will most likely appear again. Have you watched The Mad Bomber? Uh, yes, I actually, unlike many other people, I didn't see it when I was a kid. I only recently saw it. And by recently, I mean like probably five or six years ago now. But yes, I have seen it. Have you watched Shed 17 and Project G1? I don't think I've seen them fully through. I may have seen Shed 17 at some point, but I don't know about Project G1. Will you find a girlfriend? And last question, do you know what FNAF is? Yes, I'm a big fan of FNAF, and I'm really looking forward to the movie, even though it may not be so good, I've heard people say. But, we'll see. These next questions come from Train Studios, and he asks, What is your favorite and least favorite piece of Thomas merchandise you have? Um, 
I would say a lot of my favorite merch is some of the more obscure stuff that you can't really find, but I don't really think I have a least favorite merch. What is your favorite brand of Thomas merchandise? I'm a big Trackmaster guy, so definitely Trackmaster. What is your favorite episode of Marklin Engine? As of now, I would say my favorite episode is probably Caving to Marklin, which was the finale for uh, Season 2. If you were the boss of Mattel for one day, what would you do? Honestly, I'm pretty sure I mentioned this earlier, but just distributing the toys better would be a start. I don't know if it's fully on them, but I've seen so many people talking about how you can't find the toys anywhere, uh, whether it be on Twitter, on YouTube, like, just nobody can find anything from Thomas. And I guess that's probably the reason the show isn't doing so well as of now. Alright, next questions come from Merlin Axel Thomas Fan 2021. He asks, what is your favorite train club short in Mark 1 Engine? My favorite train club short as of now is probably the cats out of the bag. That one hits very close to home for me. It was one of the first days I had my cat. And I think that's just probably my favorite one in general. Favorite episode of Mark 1 Engine is probably Caving to Mark Lynn. Do you have any funny stories from during the filming of your videos? And if so, what are they? Uh, I mean, a big one is the Mr. Swan story, like I already mentioned, how he became, came to fruition over a hotel that me and my family stayed at. But as of funny stories in general while filming, I mean, I'm sure there's been plenty. I remember in one shore, I can't remember the exact one, there was a hotel being robbed across like literally across the street from where I was filming so you could hear the sirens and the background of the short I guess that's not really funny but just an interesting thing that happened what was your first time watching Thomas my first time watching Thomas I honestly could not tell you it was most likely when I was two or three or maybe even one who knows which is too early for me to remember why did you stop using Harper um Honestly, I, I never really intended on stopping to use her. I mean, I guess I just really stopped needing her after a certain point. Uh, maybe she'll come back again one day, but I don't know. I don't think it was ever intentional that I stopped using her. She just kind of became less of a necessity for the series. Will you still make videos in six more years? Um, I'm pretty sure this is the first time I'm going to publicly state this. Maybe I have before, but I am planning on taking my leave from YouTube when I go to college, which will be at the end of 2024. So, I don't think I'll still be making videos in six years. Have you seen Amphibia, The Owl House, Rise of the TMNT, Loud House, Big City Greens, or any other Disney cartoons? I have seen a bit of Amphibia, I think I was recommended to watch it by some of my friends, but I never really got through it. I've not seen the Owl House, I've seen the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cartoon, but I have not seen Rise of the TMNT. Uh, I've seen most of Loud House, I've seen some of Big City Greens, but I can't really remember any other Disney cartoons. Next up is ThomasFan406 is back, and he asks, Have you heard of the Dog and Pony Show? I have not heard of that. Do your Trackmasters always get corroded? You know, it's a really funny story. It seems like the characters I never do anything with, that just sit on the shelf, always seem to break, but the ones that I throw around and go crazy with continue working. Like, the scruff toy I have has been in mud, snow, it's been thrown in the water multiple times, and yet it still works. And then there's some that I can open, like run on a layout or something, and then the next day it doesn't work. It's it's very weird. What do you think is the best and worst Trackmaster model? Um, I don't really judge the models on how they look compared to the engines, because again, they're just supposed to be toys. But... Let's see. I think the worst Trackmaster model is definitely Glenn. I don't currently own him, but goodness gracious. 
Next questions come from Trainboss5801, and he asks, what is your opinion on All Engines Go? Um, I, I can't really give a solid opinion on All Engines Go. I mean, if it keeps Thomas going, that's good, but it's not really anything that I'd be invested in watching. What was your favorite and least favorite episode to make? Um, my favorite episode to make was definitely the cat one, which I stated was my favorite. Least favorite episode to make. There have been a lot that have been a pain in the butt that I almost called quits on, but I would say my least favorite episode to make. It may be the one that is about to release this week, again, at the time of recording this video. It's been on hold for a while because of how much of a pain in the butt it's been. Who's your favorite character from Thomas? That's probably either James, Percy, or Toby. These questions come from Thomas, Herbie, and FNAF fan, and he asks, Number one, who is your favorite Marklin Engine Adventures character? The deepest one is probably Gabriel, so I'd probably say him. Who is the Red Engine in Gabriel's flashback from the episode Caving to Marklin? Uh, I had to go back and look at the video to answer this one, but I believe that is just supposed to be a character from Gabriel's past that used to pick on him, as was stated in an earlier episode. Will we ever seen that yellow streamlined steamer in the new Marklin Engine Adventures? I'm not exactly sure who you're referring to, but if you want to leave another comment and ask me, um, being a bit more specific, I'd be happy to answer. This question comes from the Loco Guy 45, or these questions. He asks, number one, favorite video you've made, probably the Derek movie. Favorite episode from Train Club Shorts, the cat's out of the bag. Least favorite Thomas character. Um, a lot of the characters in the show don't tend to really do anything, but I don't remember if I have a least favorite. Least favorite movie you've made, that is definitely Scruff's Quest. These questions come from Lee Says Hello 808. Favorite and least favorite PlayRail engine? I don't own much PlayRail. I believe I only have Spencer as of now, but my favorite model that I own is Toby. Opinions on Trackmaster Revolution? Um, I think they're better for some things. Like, they're definitely stronger, they're usually faster. And one good thing I will say is that if an engine ever breaks, there is literally no issue replacing the chassis since they all share the same one. But I definitely prefer the older Trackmasters in general. Opinions on Trackmaster RC engines. Uh, they're pretty neat. A lot of them I've turned into self-runners, but I wish they made more of them. Do you plan to get an actual Action Canyon, or do you have one other than the winter version? Honestly, I'm probably just going to stick with the winner version. Uh, I don't really have any need to get any more Thomas sets, and the winner version is just the same as the Action Canyon. All Engines Go Fan 101, I am being four? I'm sorry if I read that wrong. Ass. Not really one for a Q&A, but I want to ask, did you used to have a channel called the Tugboat Club? I used to watch the hell out of the Great Ocean Dock vid on the channel, and I thought it was you since you have very similar names. Yep, that's a good catch. That actually used to be my channel, yeah. I don't remember why I stopped posting on it. I think either I just ran out of material or didn't have time or lost interest. But yes, you are right. That did used to be me. This question comes from Neon Toby, and he asks, Can the beard go? Honestly, Neon Toby, I'm willing to strike a deal with you. If you send me a Minis Martian Manhunter Ferdinand, I will shave my beard. Alright, last but not least, these questions come from Six Small Wheel Studios, and he asks, Can you stop making videos, please? Um, in a year or two, you'll have your wish. And he- wait, hang on. I'm having trouble reading this one. Look- look out your window. Okay, what- OH MY- Alright everyone, so that concludes my Q&A. Thank you very much to everyone who participated and left a question. I greatly appreciate it. And if there was any question either I missed from you or you want me to answer more specifically, then leave it in the comments of this video below and I'll be happy to get back to you. 
Thank you everyone, thank you for making this video possible, and I'll see you in the next one.